Hello everyone, welcome uh, in my channel uh, WinForms. So today I am talking about uh, uh, design surface. Uh, first of all, uh, I uh, am going to show you how to design uh, the user accounts and uh, you can say uh, when a newly created accounts of a customers. So what field I take in this uh, project, <coughs> okay. So first of all, add a label control uh, in which you can add the headings and change the font or you can say formatting of the label control by using the font and the sizes, etc. Okay, so again add a new uh, label control for the date uh, this label control uh, um, represent the date actually or you can say the current date um, current uh, UI date and if the system is updated then uh, pick the date from the system also okay you can use the, um, uh, uh, the system date uh, on the basis of the um, a demo purpose because uh, it's a demo actually it's not applications it's not a fully uh, applications okay so if you design the fully uh, banking system application then you can must to use a system dot ui a system dot uh, daytime dot it's now dot ui on the base of the ui so uh, we have some label control add a label control for the account number, date of birth and address fields and state, district etc. So represent the uh, these label control as A label uh, of the customer fields. Okay. Design. So uh, in this tutorial, uh, you can uh, see that I'm not changing the uh, ID or you can say the name property of the control because there is no need actually. Uh, only need to change the controls or you can say the input controls property. Okay. So uh, only the text property of the control is ch changed. Okay. Okay, you can design uh, this surface and talk again and I, dis uh, I describe again.
now your design is uh, clear okay and come to the code part actually so view section code section okay uh, so create a new variable in the class that is like gender that is string dot empty so initialize with the empty string string dot uh, string another variable is marital status so m underscore status string dot empty uh, okay the third variable is uh, decide to uh, actually the account number so you can use the number actually because I will pick the number the last number of the account number for uh, create a new number okay so first to check the context part of the model folder so model one dot context dot cs uh, I have a context class is banking underscore db entities one so banking underscore db entities one uh, create uh, add a reference or you can say add a object of the banking entities and the last one variable is memory stream to save the picture in the memory or you can say in the form of the image or you can say the form of the raw image raw binary format so you can you must to use the binary stream class resolve the issue by using uh, control and dot okay so use the control dot there is a namespace is system dot io ms is the memory stream class and make a constructor see uh, by using the ctr and dub, double tab oh it's already created so remove first and uh, <coughs> writing just after the initializing component when your um, form is load or you can say the class is load all controls is initialized first they like the text box um, and uh, uh, a date picker control etc so after that you can create uh, you can design your uh, methods like load date load account load states okay and resolve the method by using the tooltip of the electricity verb icon throw new and not implemented so remove lines and first to create the account BSE is the banking system entity that is the context uh, object and create the object first BSE equals to new banking underscore DB entities one okay and get the first two I want to get the account number actually so user table is not there and the user account is not there oops so first of all uh, design a table in a database so come to the database section yeah there is and thank you very much for watching the next video tutorial thank you very much